Hi guys, we're gonna do a reading today and see what's coming in for you. See what messages you need to know and be aware of at this time. Hope everybody's great. Welcome to my channel. Zalili Tarot. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Um, all right, let's get started. Let's get started. What's coming in for my viewers at this time? See what's coming in, guys. Somebody feels lost or needs more direction in their life. They're sad to be burdened by something. All right. We have one ring circus. And I'm going to get the book so we can read from it and see what else What's going on here? All right, we got the one ring circus here. Let's get one more. What else? Spirits and angel guides. So to me, this feels like temptation, toxic energy, number 15. We have Talesman 49. And strength at the bottom, number 44. All right, what's 15 say? You are capable of, capable and competent. Independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly comp um competent, capable of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliant is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another. Be discerning about your partnerships at this time. When you know who you are, you have a healthy sense and have a healthy sense of where you end and others begin, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationships and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Independent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. 49, the talisman. A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for you have all you need for the success you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid and also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't com um, commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you. For you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You learn your lessons and earn the right to your success. It's coming in for my viewers at this time. So wisdom, strength, boundaries, knowing when to say no to people, things that are no good for you, staying on course, Okay, what's coming in from the Energy Oracle? We have indecision, yeah. Number eight. We have the sun, happiness, and financial constraints. Thirteen and one. The magician energy, manifesting adjacent possibilities. Being shown the way. Let's get the Wisdom Energy Oracle at this time for my viewers. Get something is repetitious for you, so doing something over and over again will only make you more skilled at it and better. We have eight, a 
number eight, the infinity number. And 13, death, transformation, renewal. Scorpio energy. Okay, we have peace, number 23. Two plus three is five, so a change for the better uh, after some conflict. We have all that glitters, number 16. It's not what it seems. And blessed, 22. We're blessed and poised to new beginnings, 48. All right, let's pick up these cards and get um, some from the tarot. Let's draw from the tarot. We're going to use the crow tarot. And we're going to use the tarot of the best to clarify. It's coming in for my viewers at this time. Someone's indecision could cause them to um, pen up emotions and anger. We have Ace of Swords, or Frustration, I mean. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you you walked away from somebody who did you wrong or didn't show their emotions, wasn't emotionally invested. The Temperance, they weren't balanced. But now you're balanced, and now you are looking for the truth of a situation. You had to swallow your pride. You had to bend over backwards for this person. We have this uh, Nine of Cups, Abundance. You helped this person when nobody else did. Maybe you even let them live with you. And they had nowhere to go. And they just straight um, might have been rude to you or cruel in the way that they treated you. We have the Six of Wands, okay, a victory here, and the Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess at the bottom. Let's get your person's energy. Who's moving towards my collective at this time? I almost said Sagittarius. High Priestess at the bottom again. Could be talking to a Sagittarius. What's on my collective's, my viewer's person's energy at this time? Who's moving towards my collective? So you're going to come out shining here. You're going to have peace of mind. Who's moving towards my collective at this time? Three of swords. All right. Somebody may be still healing or going through something. Um, let's see what else. The page of cups. Be a water sign. They don't really have much to offer you, it seems like. But you're gonna you're gonna sit it out and see who else shows up, rolls around, and see if there's any likes and agreements between you guys, compatible wise. The tower. Yeah, maybe it wasn't built on solid foundation. Hi, Gucci says hi. Dobby says hi. Hi, Dobby. Hi, Dabbies. What else is coming in? The Three of Wands. Someone who has looked long and hard for somebody like you. And they found you. The Eight of Pentacles and the Hangman. They had to change their perspective. They might have had to also go through a lot of hoops and obstacles. We have the Sun and the Ace of Pentacles. This person is hardworking, diligent. Um, I really feel like this person could be your match. We have the King of Wands, could be an Aries Leo Sag, Page of Pentacles, or maybe an Earth sign, another Sagittarius, or a Scorpio. Let's get one more for the overall energy. Who's moving towards my viewers? What's the outcome? Clarify this King of Wands. The lovers, it could be a Gemini as well. Alright, a choice. Yeah, you might choose this person after give it some time. Judgment. Don't judge a book by its cover. Alright, let's uh, clarify. 
What deck do I want to use? Sagittarius, I feel like you don't know. I feel like you're like, wow, I just got rid this of them. person, you're, this person really has you confused, okay? You're definitely confused because you're like, yes, I'm watching a video in the background. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm just pulling, trying to get these cards out. All right, we're going to use the light series to clarify. You have temperance at the bottom. It could be a Sagittarius. With the Five of Swords, could have a big ego or cocky, confident. But I like their personality overall. All in all. Let this person heal. Continue being very nice and sweet and loving as you are. This person is going to choose you. Is that Gemini energy again? Alright, show me this Ace of Swords. King of Wands. Show me this Wheel of Fortune. Four of Cups. You've waited a long time for this person. Show me the moon. You might open your heart slowly to them because you don't may not have a lot of you may have trust issues of um two as well or been through a lot yourself. Three of swords or healings something from the past. What's this temperance? And you don't want them to do you like that. Or make you feel left out in the cold or do betray you or do something wrong to you. Temperance, we got the tower. The nine of cups, we have the four of pentacles. You're hanging on to this abundant person because they have a lot to offer you. Show me the six of wands. I like this energy so far. Knight of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. Yeah, you pulled yourself out of something major, and this person admires you. That that's they think is your best quality for that. I think you're very strong and independent. Show me my collective's person's energy. What's this Three of Swords? Eight of Swords being stuck in their head, feeling like they might not be good enough. They're looking for ways to maybe do their hair different or makeup or try something new they've never tried before for you. So they're really going out of their comfort zone here. Show me the three swords. The Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Wands and the Four of Wands. Yeah, you guys could end up marrying one another. Show me this Page of Cups. Nine of Cups, yeah. You guys help each other. Let's see, the tower. Clarify this tower. Queen of Wands. I keep feeling like you guys are super compatible. Like, I keep hearing compatible, compatible. What's this Three of Swords? What's the Three of Swords? So or, sorry, Three of Wands. They may have, have had some move for work or closer to you, Knight of Cups. What's this Eight of Pentacles? They're ready now to offer you their, their love. Maybe ask you out on a date or gaining the courage to talk to you. Six of Pentacles, get equal give and take. The hangman, we have the hangman clarifying. Okay, it could be a Pisces as well, and or a Virgo. We got the high priestess at the bottom. Let's get the outcome. What's the outcome? We got the king of wands and the lovers so far. Clarify this king of wands and the lovers. What is it? Why is it here? The magician, yeah, manifesting this connection, like I said, after carrying around some heavy stuff. Ten of wands there. Well, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care now. Bye bye.